Let's talk about this, the new Red Media Machine or Hydrogen One. For the past two months, I've been lucky enough to try this phone uh, from Red and, uh, well, figure it out. Because, um, as Red put it, this is the first holographic phone. So what does that actually mean? Well, um, the screen is a 3D screen that you can use without any 3D glasses. So it has this kind of depth effect while you look at it. And actually, to my eyes, that works pretty well. Sometimes it's a bit jarring, um, but if you look at it, it, and especially if you use and turn the screen, you kind of have this, this true depth experience. Nothing is really like, if you, if you look at it like this, nothing is actually coming out of the phone. So the word holographic is therefore a bit misleading maybe, but um, it actually, I think it does a pretty good job. So a few people have already um, compared it to a, a Nintendo 3DS and I get why it has the same type of experience. Uh, actually, I do think the screen is a lot better than uh, the 3DS. On the phone side of things, I don't think that this is all that special. So um, it's an Android phone. It has a great capacity uh, battery, um, but yeah, definitely the killer feature on this phone is uh, the 3D screen and actually the uh, camera module. So I don't want this to be a typical technical review where I go through all the specs of the phone. The thing I'm most interested about and where I get, you know, slightly enthusiastic about is basically the 3D capacity of the phone. While I've never been that much of a fan of 3D in the cinema, um, looking and, you know, shooting with this phone for the last two months, it's actually been a pretty joyful experience. I think it's something new and without the need of any glasses, I, I kind of see a future here. I'm not saying that it's already here, but there's something to it that, that just seems very promising to me and that might lead to um, new innovations in, in, in this particular field. So one thing, if you not already know this, is that um, all the cameras on this phone at the moment are not built by RED. So it has a 12 megapixel dual camera setup on the back. And um, these are basically off the shelf. I don't know what type of camera they use, but RED didn't actually make these. So if you expect a 4K, 6K, 8K RED developed sensor, then that's not the case. What it does do though with this dual camera setup on the front and on the back is that it will let you make this four view content. So 4V is this um, red specific file format that's being used to um, shoot 3D on. And um, if you know what you're doing, it actually works pretty well. Um, so I've been shooting around and uh, trying this out for myself, did a lot of dark pictures. I would love to see this technology being uh, pushed further because while it's still not entirely there, what it can do at the moment is pretty amazing and, and spectacular. The problem is I can't really show this to you um, if you don't have uh, a rep phone for yourself. So this is something that's really um, uh, difficult to show. We've tried to with the demo content that's on the phone and with some um, shots I made of my dog. Uh, we've tried to show it to you because if I, you know, if you turn the screen a bit, you can see the depth that's kind of doing it justice. Not completely, but you know, you can see a bit of the effect. Uh, actually, you just basically need to know someone with a red phone to actually see it uh, and experience it for yourself. So there will be add-ons available. There will be modules that you can click on the back of the phone. Um, and there will be a camera module and a, a battery pack. But especially the camera module is something that I obviously um, look forward to and seeing to what that will bring to the phone. The camera module will feature a um, mount system so you can put different lenses on uh, the camera module. So I'm looking forward to that and see what that will bring to the whole ecosystem. So while this phone might not be for everyone, I kind of have to 
say that I'm really looking forward to seeing what uh, Red will do in the future with this because the technology that's in here, what they try to do, it kind of feels the same like when they brought out the Red One. There was a lot wrong with the Red One to start off with, but that was because this technology was completely new and they had a lot of things to figure out. And I kind of feel that this is the same with this first generation of phone. It is a solid phone, it's expensive, but it is basically just a good phone. And I can't wait to see what a second generation will be like. I think that on the display side, there's a lot they could improve. I think that what Red is trying to do is basically push forward and trying something completely new in a, in a different form factor than what we're used to. I have to commend them for it. I think they did a pretty nice job for a first phone of a camera company.